If you're getting a filling, it's most likely because you have a cavity. That means that there's some active decay going on in your tooth. Basically, you have some bad bacteria in your tooth that's digging a hole for the center of your tooth. Their goal is to kill your tooth. Yes, they're literally trying to kill your tooth. These bad bacteria are digging a hole for the center of your tooth, and in the center of your tooth lies your pulp. The pulp of your tooth has all the nerve supply and blood supply of your tooth. Once the cavity gets here and all the bad bacteria infiltrate the pulp, now your tooth is either dead or it's infected. So the longer you wait before getting a filling, the worse and worse it's gonna get. Hey guys, my name is Amanpreet Singh and I'm the founder of Dental Secrets. And if you're getting your first filling, there's probably some things you wanna know. Dude, you're getting your first filling, are you excited? Do I look excited? What's wrong, man? Fillings are fun. Everyone has fillings. I mean, I have like at least 10 fillings. I don't like fillings. I don't like going to the dentist. If you're really anxious about getting your first filling or going to the dentist for your first time, one thing you can try is asking your dentist for nitrous. Nitrous or laughing gas is something that you'll breathe in before starting the procedure. And you'll breathe this in for about five minutes and this can really help with calming down your anxiety and making you more comfortable in the dental chair. Now there's a couple things to keep in mind before getting laughing gas. One, if you're pregnant, I would avoid it. Actually, if possible, I would avoid all dental treatment altogether if you're pregnant. The second thing to know, and this is a really common misconception with laughing gas, is that it doesn't help with pain. Its only purpose is to help with anxiety, not pain. But wait, hold up. What exactly does a dentist do during a filling? The way a filling is done is the dentist would start off by numbing your tooth so you don't feel anything during the actual procedure. Okay, you're gonna feel a little pinch and I'm gonna get that tooth nice and numb for you. Open up real big. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I'm scared of needles. Get that thing away from me. If you're scared of needles and you're really scared of getting a shot at the dental appointment, keep this in mind. Your dentist will start off by putting jelly on your tooth. No, this is not the jelly that you eat with your breakfast in the morning. This is a numbing jelly. And this jelly usually comes flavored. Usually it's some strawberry or other type of berry that's meant to taste good. And I've even seen a pina colada flavor one time. This jelly is meant to get your tooth numb beforehand. And we do that so you don't feel the actual injection when we get your tooth even more numb. Back in the day, we didn't have this. So you picked a good time to get your first filling. And I've had a lot of patients say they didn't feel a single thing when I go to numb them. But everyone is different. Sometimes people still feel it a little bit even after getting the jelly. But believe it, or not, the pain from an injection is not from the needle actually entering your tissue. The pain is from when you're actually inserting the anesthetic material into your tissue. And this is because it can cause some pressure and it can kind of sting a little bit when it first enters your tissue. But just know if you do feel this, the pain is gonna go away pretty quickly because the tooth is gonna get numb almost instantly. But one thing you can't avoid from this anesthetic is that it does not taste good. And if any of it drips on your tongue, it's gonna taste really bitter. And I feel like that's the case with a lot of things in dentistry. Things just tend to not taste good. But don't worry because we're gonna give you a nice big rinse of water after we do that injection and that taste is gonna go away. So once that tooth is numb and it's ready to get worked on, the dentist is gonna start by drilling out that decay. Yes, drilling. Again, don't worry. It's a really tiny drill and it's only meant to remove that small part of the tooth where the decay actually is. But there's a few things I would keep in mind during this part of the procedure. One, the dentist will probably use a headlight to help them see your tooth. And this is because your mouth is basically a cave, so it can get really dark and hard to see without a light. So don't be afraid to just ask your dentist if they have sunglasses. A lot of times these offices have sunglasses lying around somewhere and it can really help you out during the procedure. The second thing to to note is that your mouth is going to be open for a while and usually for a filling it's not that long and people don't have a problem keeping their mouth open that long but once in a while people do have a problem keeping their mouth open and in these cases I would ask your dentist for a bite block. A bite block is basically something that would go on the opposite side of your mouth so if you're getting a filling on your right side it would go in your left side and this is basically something that you're going to bite on and it'll keep your mouth open but it'll also keep those muscles in your jaw relaxed. And the third thing to note is that the drill that the dentist uses can make a high pitched sound. Now again, people usually don't have a problem with this, but I've seen a lot of people bring headphones or their own AirPods or something so that they can listen to their own audiobook or their podcast or their own music. And this can take your mind away from the dental appointment and away from that drilling sound and you can be on your own island thinking about something else while the dentist can do their work. And once the drilling part's done, the dentist is gonna start placing the filling. And this part is super easy. All it is is the dentist putting the actual filling material in and molding it so that it looks like the shape of your tooth and so that the bite isn't super high 
and after he's done, they're gonna shine a light on it. This light is meant to harden and actually finish off the filling. Once this part is done, the hard part is over. All the dentist has to do now is just check your bite and make sure the filling looks good. And if it does look good, all the dentist is gonna do is polish that filling and make it look nice and shiny. Really guys, fillings are straightforward, very common procedures. And your dentist has probably done a thousand, if not way more. So there's nothing to worry about. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked that video and I hope this really calmed you down if you're planning on getting your first filling. And if you have any questions or anything else you wanted me to talk about, please let me know in the comment section below. And if you haven't already, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video.